Hi everyone, I'm Evie. What I have for you guys today is very easy recipe. It's delicious and what it's called is a dump cake. Some people call it a cobbler, but I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do half cherries, half a uh, peach because my baby's having a baby and she likes this. Um, by the way, these are the ingredients. Um, chuck, um, wow yellow cake mix you could do it with uh, the white one like vanilla one it tastes better with this one though and then i'm going to use my uh, canola spray whichever one you have do not use olive oil please do not use olive oil for this and then a uh, 9 by 13 baking dish so let me get my fruit open and we'll be back another thing i forgot to mention that you're going to need is going to be a stick of butter do not get the unsalted kind for this one you want the salted kind Tastes better so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this but the first thing you want to do is uh, turn your oven on to 375 degrees okay so after you preheat your oven make sure your butter is cold what I want to do is I'm gonna cut it small if I can find the opening here it is and you can just slice it like this how it comes but I like to cut it really small because that way you can sparse it better if that makes sense to anybody and then after I do this I'm gonna put mine in the freezer I want it to be as cold as I can get it so I'm just cutting it into small little squares I know they're stuck together now but it, that won't be the case once I take it out of the freezer you want your butter as cold as possible guys So there if you want you can ha add uh, half a stick more of butter if you want or even up to two sticks of butter I think one stick is enough okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my my dish remember any of your choice but do not use olive oil it's gonna make your dessert taste nasty and what I'm gonna do is I'm not mixing them together I'm just doing half peach and then half cherry and this container of peaches is a little bigger than the cherry one, so I'm going to add more cake on this side, obviously. And this is so good. This is delicious. We like it better. A lot of people like to let it cool off, like room temperature and stuff, but when you eat it hot, I love it. Hot is really good. Make sure you get all your... um. All your glaze okay I'm gonna rinse this off and go back to my cherries okay I'm back now we're gonna add cherries as you can see cherry has less space because like I said the can for the peaches was bigger and this is one of my favorite the cherries I like the uh, the tanginess the sourness of it and my daughter that's pregnant that's all she's craving sour stuff so it's gonna be good remember all your glaze best part of this is the glaze well for me it is I love it and we're gonna spread that there it is look how beautiful that is this is gonna be so big guys after I kicked my butt really good in the gym today by the way I threw out my back I'm on my third day of feeling terrible Lisa gave me some pills for my back all I got from that was a really good night's sleep. <laughs> well, it's good that my back wasn't hurting while I was sleeping. Okay. I'm going to put this aside. Remember, our butter is in the freezer. Or my butter is in the freezer. Then you take your ice cream. Your ice cream, no. You take your cake mix and what you do is you're going to pour it all over. Try to be as even as possible, guys. You do not want to break away those crumbs because that's going to become really crispy with the butter. You know, if they're big like this, yeah, you know, just break it up very little. You don't need them to be that big. You don't want it to stay raw. But this whole thing is going in just like that. Then you could take a wooden spoon or something and just try to 
make it nice flat and even you don't want big humps anywhere and since I dumped it all mostly in the middle I'll spread it around and there it is so right here wow look at this this is gonna be amazing so my oven hasn't beeped yet I'm just gonna wait for it to hit 375 I'm going to put it right in the center rack. Everything that I make, I make in the center rack. I just want it to cook evenly and, you know. So, I don't know exactly how long this is going to take. Everybody's oven varies. Oh, I almost forgot the butter. So, here it is, the butter. You have little pads of butter. Just pour it everywhere. Try to distribute it as much as possible everywhere. Now, this butter is going to make this cake mix crispy. Yeah, you got to work fast because look at it, it's already getting sticky on me. But you know, just place it strategically everywhere so you can get, especially the corners. People, a lot of people forget the corners and then, you know, just make it crispy. You know what I mean. If you leave it in big pads, like the way I was explaining in the beginning, you won't be able to get, you know, get it as much everywhere. So when it's smaller, you know you're going to get a piece everywhere. So there it is. Once my oven hits to 375, I will put this in the oven and I'll come back and let you know how long it took. Hey everyone, so this is what it looks like. If you watch carefully, you can tell it's still bubbling. I just took it out of the oven. Mine actually looked, uh, not looked, my um, dump cake or peach and cherry cobbler took 35 minutes in my oven. You just want it to be golden brown on top. Um, remember ovens vary so yours might not take this long or it might take longer so make sure and keep an eye on it I know it's piping hot but I just want to show you remember I will not be having this but I just want to show you so this is what it looks like I have a fork and stuff but I am not gonna eat this um, Gabby will I'm not gonna get a reaction from her because she comes later and it's gonna be 12 here now so but this is perfect with a big scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. Remember, I did half uh, cherries and the other one is half uh, peach for my daughter. So that's what it looks like. And everywhere that you placed butter, you have these really crunchy um, bits. So yes, I hope you guys like this recipe. I hope you guys try it. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know how you liked it. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you are new to my channel, thank you. Thank you so much for um subscribing i will be making an announcement soon when i'm close i'm i almost have 10,000 subscribers in this channel so once i'm about 25 away from that i will announce a giveaway so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching for spending your time with me god bless you take care and i will catch you in the next one bye